This is what a Google Ads account suspension looks like. And the reason you're watching this video is because most likely you need some help fixing it. In this video, I show exactly how I would solve this issue if it appears in my account. I've scaled more than 50 Google Ads partners profitably and unfortunately, this error sometimes happens when you just created a brand new Google Ads account. Here is a screenshot of a recent case where we were able to fix this issue in the Google Ads account for the client. So you know exactly that the framework explained in this video is actually proven to work. Work. Let's dive right into it. To fix this issue in your account, we are going over a three-step process which we need to follow to identify and solve the issue in your account. Step number one is adding bank details in your Google Ads account. Step number two is to start the advertiser verification. Step number three is to request a review in your Google Ads account the right way. So here we are inside a brand new Google Ads account. We see that this account is currently suspended due to suspicious policy violation. Uh, it's a brand new account. As you can see, there are no uh, campaigns yet. So step number one is to add the right billing details. So you go in the menu here to billing and you go here to payment methods. And here you can see that we already went ahead and implemented a bank account. I would always suggest to do a bank account in the first place and add any credit card later on because a bank in the eyes of Google is more trustworthy than a credit card. But you can swap to credit card later on if you have both details verified right here. So this is step number one and how you can implement that in your account. Uh, to go to step number two, the advertiser verification, uh, you go to the same menu and you press advertiser verification right here. As this is a brand new account, uh, I already went and implemented one step of the advertiser verification, but the other one didn't do yet. So here you need to implement the advertiser verification. Uh, they most likely ask some questions uh, about yourself, about your business and some registration uh, details and some address details most likely. So that's how you can finish the advertiser verification. Uh, it's not too difficult, takes maximum three to five minutes and then get it done right here as well. So all steps in this video are proven to work because they are more trustworthy in the eyes of Google. Like the more information you give them to work with about yourself and about your company, the more trust you have to use the advertising platform. And step number three is to uh, ask for a review. So there are basically two ways how you can uh, go ahead and ask for a review uh, of your blocked uh, Google Ads account. The first way is to click here, contact us page and uh, fill in the form later on if you click submit appeal right here. And the second way how you can request a review from the Google Ads team is to go to support.google.com. Uh, it will bring you to a page like this and uh, you can press Google Ads right here and fill in all details uh, which is relevant for your case. So in this case, we don't want to browse any topics. We just want to do contact us. Uh, you explain them what the issue is, what your account is and select the right things as well. So this account is, for example, this one. We press suspension, uh, account suspension. Now we press next. We see that we already have an open case for this uh, client. So we just need to wait for them to unblock the account as well. We did the first step by collecting the bank details and the second step for the advertiser verification. So we just need to wait a few days for the Google Ads team to come back and unblock our account. Uh, we always get an email notification for that. And to even help you more, I created a step-by-step -step guide how to solve your uh, suspension yourself in your Google Ads account. Uh, I will leave a link down in the description to get it for you. Uh, and when you click in there, you see all the screenshots I made to follow step-by-step. -step. And I even implemented templates like this, what you literally can copy and paste and implement it in the submission form uh, to request a review to unblock your Google Ads account. So here you can see if you have an old account uh, that needs to be unblocked or a new account that needs to be unblocked. You can always copy and paste my templates, what I mentioned in my uh, suspension A to Z playbook right here. So make sure to click in the description and solve that in your account. But even if you followed all the steps explained in this video, there is a small chance that you don't get unlocked for your Google Ads account. The reason for that is that every scenario and every company details are a little bit different. And if you want to make sure that you want to get your Google Ads account unblocked as fast as possible, I will implement a link in the description to see how I can help you with that. And if you're not ready for whatever reason to reach out to me, then I would highly suggest to watch the recommendation video after this, where I show step by step how you can unblock your Google Merchant Center from a suspension. 
because most likely this suspension is reflecting in your Google Ads account. I see you on the winning side.